turns out that the ice is on the inside of the car. So, and we're really running against the clock because it gets dark at 3.30. All right, so as I'm driving over here, I'm still just cleaning, because we're in such a rush, I'm just cleaning the window as I'm going, because the ice is stuck inside the car. Yeah. Still can't see. But um, some of this. while you're watching this, before you continue the video, make sure you click that subscribe button. It only takes five seconds, so, so five, five, four, three, two, and uh oh! We just skidded. In honor of that Daddy. skid, please <laughs> press subscribe, <laughs> like the video, and now continue watching. Oh, I'm stuck. We got these skis over here. Is it a Hanukkah car? Yes. <laughs> you want to have a, a Hanukkah menorah? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. So we're going around on skis today and putting on... Chag <laughs> Sameach. Do you follow us on social media? Uh, who are that you? Jewish <laughs> that Jewish family. <laughs> okay. So it's in. You press this one. Okay. Do you want uh, a Hanukkah? Oh, sorry. Are you Jewish by any chance? Uh, no. Oh. Okay. Have a great day. Okay, I don't know. We only have three sticks. Where's the fourth? That would be a big fail if we only had uh, three sticks. Oh, never mind. We have a stash filled with menorahs. For any Jew that we bump into. Like we just did, actually. All right, so let's see how many Jews. We're gonna Jews. find how many Jews we can find. All right, guys, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> Hello, Mike. This episode has been sponsored by Aaron Walker. In honor of his wife, Sarah, who is an incredible private chef, I personally tasted her food. It is great. Check her out on Instagram. Thank you for making our work possible. Are you guys Jewish by any chance? No. no. Oh, I was going to offer you a Hanukkia for Hanukkia. <laughs> I'm learning this on the job. Imagine you love to cross-country ski like we're doing right now. Just a bit more experience, most probably. <laughs> so imagine someone comes over to you and tells you, yeah, if, if you like doing this, no problem, do it. But just don't do it in public. Do it privately. Uh, maybe in a private indoor arena, or maybe tucked away in the forest alone. Well, nobody's going to watch and judge and comment and judge. Have their opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Then you won't be so passionate about it. So psychologically, it'll make you less proud of it. Yeah, you probably won't want to teach it to your kids or grandkids one day. You'll probably teach them soccer instead. Or how to play chess. <laughs> and you'd be very embarrassed when people stare. You'll be really conscious, self-conscious of it. No? Yeah, people. Some people are staring. Look. Hello. I think most people are staring right now. So why is he looking? Here we are, my brother Levy. No, 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 no. Crop that. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, okay. Iconic crime. He's off. Hello. Are you Jewish by any chance? No. No. There's not many Jews here. There's like 15,000 Jews. It's nothing. Out of two, uh, 10 million people. The Lubavitch Rebbe instituted that Hanukkah menorahs be lit across the world in the center of the city for all to see. Why do they have to announce it to everyone and say, Hello, I'm Jewish, I have a menorah. <laughs> What's the point of that? This concept of the skier is the best analogy because if we're going to have that sense that our Judaism should just be in our home, our Judaism should only be in the arena, which is the synagogue or our Chabad centers, Jewish centers, and not publicly, and never tell people in our work that we're Jewish, or not to tell our friends that we're Jewish. Or not to be proud to wear a on the street. We might develop a sense of shame connecting to it. and might say, okay, Judaism is just something secret to me and no one should know about it. That would be a shame. That would be a shame. Ha. No pun intended. You won't even be proud yourself. Like, it's so important to be proud of who you are and not hide away from it. Therefore, 
keep your Judaism with pride and you're not even embarrassed to show it on the street. You'll love your Judaism so much more. You feel so much more connected because it's so part of who you are and you're proud of it. And you'll pass that on to your kids and their kids and their kids and their kids. And that is how we are still a nation today. Wherever you are in this world, if you're in the middle of about to fall asleep now, if you're just waking Don't up. Don't be that boring, about to fall asleep. <laughs> just waking up, or like a morning coffee. It doesn't matter. Take a pen and write, today I'm lighting the menorah. And I'm going to show my Judaism with pride. Now let's go give out some menorahs. It does feel weird to walk. Sorry, man. Are you Jewish by any chance? Uh, oh. Danny, you say I'm sorry. Uh, they're in your way. <laughs> Hello? Are you Jewish by any chance? Huh? No. Huh? No. Are you Jewish by any chance? No. So, are you Jewish by any chance? Are you Jewish by any chance? No, no. Oh, you look like a Hasidic. Not today and not yesterday. And oh. not today. All right, have a great day. Thank you. Well, he looks yeah. like a Hasid. He has a hat and a beard. Danny, the answer is hipster. The answer is hipster, not Hasidic. No, oh, sorry. Let's go home. We gave one out, at least. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, look what happened. Oh, the candles went out. Oh my god. Let me do it. You want to help? You want to help? Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it on the, the vegan. You could subscribe to our channel. Okay. What that Jewish it? family. I will. Tonight is the fifth night of Hanukkah and we're lighting the menorah. Here in the city center.